Hey, what's up guys? It's Gutex. Since you guys enjoyed the Marvel Finals from Canada Cup's April Duels last week, we thought we'd give you guys the Street Fighter 4 Finals this week. But first, do you guys remember Ryan Lochte, that superstar Olympic swimmer with his own platinum grill? This dude lives all out all the time, and now he's got a new reality show on E! called What Would Ryan Lochte Do? Check this out. What is the Lochte edge? To you. Ryan Lochte. You know, I've never been asked that question, what is the Lochte edge? I honestly have no idea. You gotta tune in to E! this Sunday at 10 p.m. 9 central and see the ultimate bachelor gold medalist in a whole new light. Everyone you know will be talking about it. So thanks to Ryan and his people for supporting another fellow Ryan by sponsoring this top eight. And now please enjoy the Street Fighter 4 top eight finals from Canada Cup's April Duels in Vancouver. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Justin's gonna start with Adon. PR Balog is gonna go with Fei Long, who he's been practicing quite a bit recently. We saw him play a little bit of uh, Balrog yesterday. But today will be Fei Long. Uh, this is, of course, the loser's bracket. Also in the loser's bracket side, we have Jace the Ace and EG Ricky Ortiz. In the winner's side, we got Mago versus Sien, which is going to be a run back of the Grand Finals of Canada Cup 2012. And then we got Canada Cup's Chirithi versus Mad Cat's Tokido, also in uh, the winner's bracket. So we got a lot of great matches coming down the pipe for you guys today here at April Duels. So sit tight. We got a lot of, a lot of good stuff. Joining me on the mic is Cameraman. What's up, Gutex? Adon, let's go. Oh, it looks like Justin is going to be on the verge of taking this. They have spoken too soon. Wow. Interesting angle. Couldn't quite uh, jump over. Or couldn't quite get the safe jump. Oh, tricky. Unfortunately, can't convert after that. Adon's got a, a slightly different uh, get up speed, which can make certain setups uh, a little difficult or not work at all. DR Balrog opting not to use any of his meter right there for an uppercut FADC. He's I just going to try to chip him away. I think the wake up speed has been, uh, has been corrected on the uh, new version. Really? Yes. Because uh, Gamer B was abusing it. I mean, not abusing it, but taking advantage of that. And there wasn't a good safe jump setup for Adon back then. Uh. Uh. Justin has not used any of his meter. Yeah, Justin definitely likes to play very tight with his meter in this game. Opting to just play a very patient footsie game, not go in too hard, not take any unnecessary risks. Justin's very patient even when he's boot, when he, even when he doesn't have the light speed. Oh, and there you see he's taking it very ever so slightly. Ooh, nice neutral jump. And just kind of trying to wait out PR Balrog. Oh no, unexpected side switch right there. Oh yeah, see? This is why Justin would play very Ooh. patiently. If he had dashed forward, that would have been the game. Yeah. Ooh, oh, wow. nice counter hit. Oh, Ooh. what a heartbreaker right there. He mashed that uppercut, which is why the light kick came out. And then the, fire, the flame kick. Justin shaking his head, no. Pierre Baroque staying with 
Fei Long. That's fine. Fei Long can Fei Long's got all the tools, man. Justin really kind of taking advantage of um, PR Balrog's tendency to just want to rush in, you know. Justin's a very patient player. PR Balrog, on the other hand, definitely just known for being in your face and staying there. But Justin may have the antidote for that. Both players about even on life and meter. Anybody's game at this point. Ooh, no punish on those two with moves. Oh no, Ooh. that could have been big damage right there. Oh, nice fake out there by PR Balrog. Got a slight life lead, but definitely don't want to go in too hard. Still a very dangerous situation, even though he does have a slight life lead. Justin Wong's Adon has not used Jaguar Kick and spam it as much as Gamer B has. Ooh! Ooh. Wow. Punishes the sweep with the EX Rekka. Smart stuff by Eduardo. Yep. And great delay tech there to block the uppercut earlier. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Two hits. Oh, misses it all. Zero hits. Oh, wow. All right. Nice whip punish there by PR Balrog. Yeah, PR oh, Rock. no. Got away easy on that whip ultra, but uh, wasn't able to stay in the game and win that round. Yeah. Justin doing so well right now. Ooh, nice. That's right. Match point for Justin Wong right here. One of these guys is going home. Who will it be? PR Balrog trying to get a little revenge for losing in Marvel. Oh no, can't really follow up after that. Pia Barog being out footsie here. Yeah, I mean, Justin's definitely playing to his strengths, you know. Very patient player, pay, playing very tight on the meter. Ooh. Not trying to take any chances. I think that's and it. That's exactly why he saves Ooh, the meter. A little, bit, a little bit left. Oh, man. That's it. Tough break there for PR Balrog. Tying for seventh place. He is eliminated. Next up, the Wonder Kid, Jace the Ace. Yep, Jace the Ace is going to be playing EG Ricky Ortiz, also in loser's bracket. How did you get Jace the Ace into Hooters for your... ...from Orange County, California. He's a student down there. Now he's in college, which makes me feel extra old. Oh, man. Did he go, <laughs> did he go to prom? <laughs> I don't, right? Oh, dude. I don't, well... I don't want to put his business out there, but I'm pretty sure Jace the Ace had quite the selection yeah. of young ladies. All right, and he's going to be going up against Ricky Ortiz. All right, so, so um, last tournament, um, SCR, Jace actually put Ricky's in losers. So this is a run back for Ricky trying to get the revenge. It's a very dangerous Viper. Been playing competitively since the ripe old age of 14. I think it's been that long. And he's off oh to a very strong God. start. Oh my gosh, what can Ricky do? Not very much in this first round. Ricky with a slight look of confusion. Tough situation for uh, Rufus to be in right here with no meter. Yes. Uh, you know, he can use the EX Messiah Kick to get out of trouble, but it looks like uh, Jace the Ace is taking this first game pretty uh, convincingly. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, there's so much damage. Just oh my god, oh Ricky my needs gosh. to adjust somehow. That was kind of, that was really bad. It was slaughter. What sort of advice would you give Ricky? to fight off uh, Jace's C Viper. I mean, what can really, what can Rufus really do? Well, oh, he can, he can do stuff. He just, he, like, Viper just was on the offense. Rufus just needs to be on the offense instead. Right, because once uh, Viper gets knocked down, I mean, he doesn't really have a whole lot of good wake up off. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, nice right there. Oh, there we go. 
Okay, see, it looks just the same like the other one, but the vice versa instead. There we go. So it's kind of like whoever gets the first knockdown, whoever gets the first hit, has a strong chance of taking the first round. Now the second round. Oh man, Ricky looking pretty strong right here. Ends up on the opposite, on the wrong side of the screen. Good blocks right there. Oh, Jay's doing what he can to stay out of the corner. Oh, trades right here. This oh is gonna hurt. God. Oh, it drops it. Oh, what a lucky guy. Yes, Ultra. Gonna go for the meter. Oh, okay, so game two. Ricky was not phased by that slaughter in the first round. Fighting back, convincingly taking that second game. Jace the Ace looks a little confused. He's gonna have to make some adjustments. Ooh. Oh, nice focus right there, but doesn't get the, the forward dash after that. That was a problem. That's why he was able to punish and lost a lot of uh, health right there. Trade uppercut. The blocks there by Ricky. Ah, oh, nice, nice. Uh, oh no, is that the end of the round? He might have a little bit of health left. Yes, he does. We'll see what he wakes up with. Looks like he was uh, James was trying to bait out the EX side kick, but Ricky didn't fall for it. Oh wow! Oh nice. man, just throws out the uppercut yeah, right there. Even if he blocked it, he, he would have FADC still. Yeah, match point for Jace the Ace. Oh Not looking God. good for Ricky. Oh, nice block on the EX size mode. It's really hard to react and block that. Oh, oh wow, Ricky throws out his low medium punch a little too soon. Oh, but he's almost done. He needs to back off for a little bit. Just block a little bit. The stun mirror is not going down right now. Oh, oh nice block. Gosh. Okay, yeah, so now stun mirror definitely went down now. Not looking good for oh, Ricky here. Hit. Oh, oh no, no, that's it. Wow. Jace the Ace takes it. Very nicely done. So Ricky Ortiz will tie for seventh. And uh, coming up next, I'm pretty sure we're going to have the winner's bracket, which is going to be a run back yes, from Canada back. Cup 20. A second, too. Oh, yeah, that's true. He did a good top eight plus there. Yeah. He ended fifth place there, too. Cameron versus Akuma. Takedo, known for his Akuma play. Yes, the inventor of the Vortex. Inventor of the Vortex, that is correct. Which I think Infiltration then adopted, improved upon, and then used to destroy him <laughs> and the rest of yes. Japan and America and everywhere, really. Anyways. Oh, here comes the Vortex. Oof. All right, not looking good here. Oh, nice can spike right there. Recognize that it was not a safe jump. But he teleports in. Camry did not punish. That was a free low forward can drill right there. Oh, standing around house. Chiriti likes to play uh, a ground-based type of cami um, for a little bit until he gets the knockdown. Right, once he gets the knockdown, you're in trouble. Yes. But of course, Akuma has tools to deal Ooh. with that, most notably the teleport. Yes, Wait, he's waiting for the EX drill right there. EX, EX dive kick. Oh, nice footies right there. Ooh, neutral medium kick. Oh, misses the low four cannon drill. Oh, man. That was I big. Wow. Straight through the fireball. But if, he did, if he did ultra, he would have killed Akuma. But yeah, that's something new. I didn't think cannon spike would, would go through and not trade with the fireball. Pretty yeah, sick. I pretty seen sick. That. I don't like Chiriti's just. Thro throwing out the uh, EX. Uh, yeah, I know. Strike. Like it's wasting a lot of meter. Yeah, I mean he would have had three bars right now. But the thing Maybe about four the, bars. Yeah, but the thing about Cami uh, in general is that the EX dive kick produces so much momentum. It is ridiculous, even if it does not hit or not. Right, but when he's just throwing it out like that, when he's not, when he doesn't already have him under pressure, yeah, it just, that's just true. doesn't seem like that good of a of an idea. Yeah, I agree with you. Oh, oh. that's gonna hit. <laughs> Die 1,000 deaths. Wake up, demon. Let's see what he does next. Oh, nice. Focus wow. out. Good stuff. Oh my God. Tyrithi not phased. Yes. 
Oh my oh, god, man. reversal oh, demon still he's not alive. Dead. Oh, oh, misses the overhead. I wonder if Kami could chip with super. Oh, I don't think, well, I mean, Akuma does not have that much life, so maybe he could, but. Oh, there oh, it is. There we go. Okay, finally, hits the EX uh, cannon strike. Yeah, and she has three more. Chirithi looking very strong. Tokido went for the win with that reversal demon. Cost him all his meter, and now he's starting out with uh, kind of a disadvantage, but I guess not so much anymore since Chirithi burned most of his meter. Oh, use the meter right there to avoid getting hit by the fireball. Ooh. Oh no, walks right into the uh, standing roundhouse. Nice empty jump into the low attack. Very hard to see coming. Oh, oh he goes again. for it again. Wow, doesn't oh, matter though. That is an ultra punish, but I, I don't think Chirita expected that. Yeah, he expected Tokido to drop yeah, the combo. He, th he, was already, he was already defeated mentally. Yes. Right. And uh, so now Tokido takes first game. The battle has begun. Fight! Oh, nice trade right there. Good damage on Akuma, who, of course, doesn't have as much health. Oh, nice counter hit setup. Let's see what Chirithi does. Oh, man, just throws out his, his cannon strike. Now he's out of meter. He doesn't... Of course, you know, with Kami, you know, if you got two meters, you know, you can uppercut FADC out of trouble, but... Yeah, that's true. Oh, nice. Wow. Goes under it. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, and uh, he's an Ultra. Okay. Wow! What? I thought it was going to hit him on the back of the head. Yeah, I thought it was going to go to the side. That was surprisingly. Well, I wonder if Tokido has some new tricks for that, maybe. Oh, misses the Hurricane Kick, but still gets the overhead. That is crazy. I didn't think the Raging Demon. Usually, Raging Demon will always go through if Ch Kami does a dive kick. Chirithi trying to shake that one off. Definitely in this situation, Ooh. when you lose a tough round like that, you can't let it get to you mentally. You yes. Nice combo right there. Oh my god, almost stunned. No doubt about it. Oh, wow. nice whip punish. Oh, empty jumps and does nothing. I think Tokyo tried to bait a DP right there. That's why you backdash. Chirithi looking pretty strong right here. Doesn't want to go in too hard though. All right, there we go. Wow, look at the damage. Oh my god. Now Chirithi one round away from taking this game. I'm surprised that uh, Torpedo is throwing out the uh, fireballs like that with yeah, I'm having that. all that meter. Ooh. Oh no, this is anti air. Sweeps. That's not good. Oh, cannon spike. Wow. That was a weird angle. Now oh, he's out of meters. Sweeps. Yep, vortex. Empty jumps. Nice tech. Oh, nice jump around house. Oh, could have had an ultra right there. It'd be dashed. No, again, wasting all his meter. Oh, oh no, no that's it. it's over. I don't know if that was a if that was intentional or that was a bad input. All right, so that was a good good try there by Chirithi. Yes. Ends up. Uh, well, he's in losers now, so Chirithi will be uh, fighting it out in the losers bracket, maybe against your. Stan, of course, uh, based in Singapore, a lot of experience with the Fei Long matchup. Plays with uh, Gak, who's uh, widely considered to be the best. Uh, the best Faye Long in Singapore. These guys have a long history. So uh, not gonna show not gonna show Sian anything new with uh, with Fei Long, that's for sure. So he definitely kinda has the upper hand in this match, I would Ooh, say. Nice, nice dragon. Focus attack. Ooh. Oh, oh wow. Zian's getting impatient right now. Yeah. Oh, the counter hit setup. Now Mago's got him right where he wants him. 
Fei Long, of course, very strong in the corner because yes. he's got so many tools. The overhead, the command grab. Ooh, just throws out that EX record, which is, of course, safe on block. Tables have turned. Oh, wow. Mago not too worried about that one, though. Oh, no! If should've you let, let the focus it go. rock. You yeah. should've let it rock. Oh, that's a bummer. Oh, wow. Just walk up overhead. All right. Oh. Oh, wow. That was a punish. Wow. Even though it hit, that was crazy. EX hands is just one of those moves. You can still punish even if you get hit. Alright, good damage here by Sien. Oh, Reba. Set up. Ooh, nice oh, nice goes out with the EX chicken wing. Try to option select the back dash, yeah. but then Mago did the uh, EX chicken wing to get out of trouble. Punish there by Mago, who's gonna take a step back and try to sit on this lead a little bit. Oh, nice. Stays out there, so it's not a punish. Both players being very patient. Time is running down, though. Oh, no. Let's we'll see what Sian goes for after this. All right, so he's gonna uh -oh, take. Oh, flame, flame! Whoa! Yeah, Mago's got. You know, if he gets his one Ooh, open. Nice. Oh, nice! Wow, caught his focus attack. Ah, uh, Mago not pleased with that one. All right, both players just about Ooh, even. Just, just on dash up throw right away. Oh, nice block on the front. Oh no! The ends almost have that super ready though. There we go. Finally used that meter. Oh, sweeps. But now he's not going to be able to use it again for uh, a little see, while. He, he didn't FADC there because he knows that super's coming. Right. And once again, has super and ultra. It may be game over if you jump. Yeah. And he with normals. Yen will punish low strong hands in the super. His, the match is totally in Yen's favor. Oh my god, that was it. Oh, the super wow. missed it. Well, he's still got a sizable life lead here. Oh, and that's going to be it. Yes. So he ends like, yes, that was a very crucial match to win right there. Oh, yeah. Very crucial. Hard fought. Yeah, I mean, Mago was looking very strong in that first round, playing very patiently, punishing all of Sien's jump-ins, but... Ah, like there. Ooh. Nice anti-air, air to air. Oh wow, that standing jab led into a full combo like this. And he got the hard knockdown. Ooh, oh what my a god. Cross up. How did he block that, uh, Justin? Mago is not pleased with himself. Dude, Sian just has his number. I, I mean. Oh, nice character right there. Switch his stance. Ooh. Sweeps. Ooh. Oh, punishes is still. That is a crazy thing. It hits and it punishes? That's ridiculous. I mean, do you think that Gen has the advantage in this matchup against uh, Fei Long, or is it just because Mago is not necessarily familiar with the match? I mean, I don't think a lot of people have a... Uh, Nobody does. Yeah. Oh, it spends the meter. Oh my god, that's the first time I see him drop the combo.
Oh, nice. leaves it out yeah. there. Oh nice my god. Nice cross under. He's gonna have, even if he loses this round, he's gonna have super. You think Mago will, oh wow. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, oh wow. And Sien takes it two to nothing. Very impressive. That was amazing. Wow. So Mago's gonna go down to the loser's bracket. Sien will advance to fight Topedo? Tokido. Probably Tokido. I don't know. Um, All right, here we go. So, Jason Ace is going to be playing Viper versus Chirithi's Kami. So Kami versus uh, Viper. Chase off to a pretty strong start here, building meter. Uh oh, here comes Kami though. Oh man. Oh look. <laughs> Got a little lucky right there. Chase just throws out the uppercut. Who cares? Oh no, uppercut's the wrong way. Oh my god, the combos. Oh, nice. Oh my god. I think uh, JCH tried to do a flame kick right there, but Kami standing here has beat both options. Wow. Nice counter hit right there. Viper, JC is playing. Ooh, the Thunder Knuckle, the electricity. Why did he the meter right there? I think that was an input error. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, Jace working on a perfect. Oh, fades out the uh, cannon spike. Oh no, both of these get. Uh, Jace the Ace was, you know, waiting for uh, Tyree to hit a button. Uh oh. Hesitated for a Ooh, split nice. second. Oh, nice. Then he used the, the faint cancel to put invincibility. Yeah. Oh my stun. God, he's oh almost stunned gosh. though. Wow. Chirithi steals this one. It totally looked like yes. that was Jace the Ace's round to win. And Chirithi's gonna take the first game. Canada's last hope here at April Duels. Oh, he's character switch? Is he gonna switch to Akuma? You think so? No. Just wanted to buy a few seconds, reset the situation, hopefully reset the momentum. Jace the Ace, a uh, bit of a prodigy, been playing competitively since the ripe old age of like 14, 15. And now this dude is in college. I am so old. All right, Jace the Ace off to a strong start here. Oh my god. Wow. Try everything, focus back, dash is out of trouble. Yes. Oh man, nice cross under right there. Oh, okay, that's how you get out of that. Focus will run the other way, I like that. This is the standing short pressure. Blocks the EX Seismo. Nice block right yeah. there. JCA is doing a lot of chip damage, a little here, 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 little damage here and there. Yeah, it adds up. Ooh, nice anti-air with low thumb knuckle. Oh, oh no, no. back to that's the worst thing to happen. Cammy's back to oh wow. Wow. Ultra. The wrong way, but it didn't matter. Uh, is he dead? Oh yes. Yeah. Jace the ace takes the first round of game two. Chirithi's still very dangerous though with all three bars. Jace's gotta build up a little meter. Oh. Try really throwing out those oh, wow. EX yeah, cannon strikes right there. Nice. Oh, sweet, oh, wow. hard knockdown, knock safe down. jump. Yeah. Oh, oh no, last stuff. second cannon strike right there. Oh my god. Nice uppercut. Oh wow, that was amazing. But he's not dead yet. Safe jump set up. One, One flame kick. 
Oh, so tricky. How did oh, he block that? Oh, he bet the oh, farm. Oh, went for the chip damage. He did bet pay the off. Farm. Wow. That was close. Shariti looking, looking pretty dangerous here. Throwing out those cannon strikes at the last moment. We'll see what he wakes up with. He's got two meters. Can he, is he going to use it to get out of trouble? Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, nice standing fierce right let's there. Let's go, Jace. Let's go, Chi Ritti. Now, let me see some crazy combos. Two meters for Jace and almost three meters. No, now one meter for Jace. EX times are very important. Boss for Chi Ritti's EX oh. dive kicks very important. Nice block on there. Wow. Oh, oh my god. Not dead yet, though. But One more setup. Yeah, but Jace Ace has no meter. Ooh, oh, just do it. Oh, oh wow. no, the back throw. What's he going to do now? One more setup. That's oh, good. This could be it. Oh, my, my gosh. God. What a tricky cross up. And he stayed on the same side, too. Jace the Ace takes game two. Shirethi not happy about that one. Really had the momentum in his favor up until the very end. Ha. Ah. Ooh. Oh wow, catches the back dash, not running away from Sea Viper like that. Oh nice. Oof. Oof. Mm. he's gotta be close to stun right here. Oh, oh yes. there it is. Of course the stun meter in this game uh, stays high on, even if they keep on blocking. Even if you're yes. not getting hit, if you're doing blocks, then you're still uh, keeping your stun meter. You have to move away and stay not nowhere me nowhere close to your opponent to, yeah. for it to go down. And even then, the meter doesn't go down that fast. Right. Nice combo. That was like maximum damage after it's standing short. Jace is on his game right now, has the momentum on his side. Chiriti, though, from Canada, has the whole state country of Canada on his side. Nice wow. DX flame kick. Oh, cross up flame kick again. Ooh, he oh, he again. He keeps flinching with the crouch tech. Nice block on that one. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. This could Viper, be it. But the ultra is going to not even the life out, but take a good chunk. One more combo. We'll be even. Oh, Whoa. smart stuff from Jace. Use the flame kick to get out the mix up. So he took the damage. It's OK. It's better oh, to get forward. out of the situation. Oh, take Ooh. Wow. She with the out of the Oh, Jace to Ace man. Moves on, and I will be back. Very impressive. All right, so Chairiti uh, is going to go down out of the tournament. That is it. Oh, and it looks like Justin's going to be going with good old Rufus. And Mago, interesting choice there, opting to go with Ultra 2, which is Fei Long's counter Ultra. This is to dissuade Justin from using Rufus's dive kicks and uh, the rest of his offense. Mago trying to use the intimidation factor of Ultra 2 to keep Justin on his toes or possibly second guess him himself. Nice non cross up there by Mago. Puts himself. Puts Justin back in the corner. And just keeping the pressure on. Justin forced to use one of his meters right there. Get out of trouble. Oh no. Whoa. Cross up short, kind of weird. Yeah, let's see what happens. Yeah, that's it. Mago takes the first round, just taking it to Justin. Mago looking pretty strong here with the meter advantage. Ooh. Oh man, Justin's low medium punch beaten by the chicken wing. And this is definitely uh, not where you want to be against Fei Long. He's in the corner. Justin backs off a little bit. Oh wow. Baits Mago to come in a little bit. Now Mago's got uh, Ultra 2 locked and loaded, so if he gets knocked down, that'll kind of be a threat. Justin's going to have to think about whether uh, he's going to take the chance of attacking Mago now. Wow, good read there by Justin. Ducks under the uh, chicken wing. Nicely done. Mago's going to start the third round with a full, full super meter. 
which means that he will be able to use uh, two bars to uppercut FADC out of trouble in case something bad happens. Justin Wong, of course, uh, if, when he's using Rufus, three bars is critical. Uh, that way he can use the EX Messiah Kick, FADC, to buy his way out of trouble. Or convert into Ultra. Mato slowly inching his way to the corner. There we go. This is not where you want to be. But Justin Wong quickly gets out of the corner. Mato uses all two, all four of his bars right there. Oh, we'll see if Justin... Yeah, there we go. Justin uses his Ultra. He should be able to get another one, though, by, before the round is over. And he should be able to build up another two bars if he needs it. Oh, it looks like he's not even going to matter. Oh, man, not looking good here. Oh, no. Mago bets it all. Goes for the goes for the command grab. Justin reads it properly and counters with the uh, light punch uh, snake strike, which got him off the ground. Good read there by Justin. Ooh, wow. Hesitates just a second. Gonna put Rufus back in the corner. Burn a bar on the uh, EX bracket to keep the momentum going. Oh no. Justin used one of his bars. Oh, not enough though. Mago's got such a good lead now. And uh, Rufus has got no bars to get out of trouble with. Oh no. Justin's got a lot of work to do here, but we'll see what happens. Justin closing the life lead. Oh, wow. Okay. Ah, oh, reads the back dash. Counters with the do uh, down four medium kick. And then converts that into an ultra. Justin takes round one of game two. This is match point for Justin. He is on the verge of sending Mago home all the way back to Japan. Oh, no. Back dash is away from the counter focus. Very dangerous place. Okay, yeah. Uh, Justin thought that that was going to cross up. But uh, Fei Long is very good in the corner like that. Wow. Mago working on a pretty strong lead here. Justin's got a lot of work to do. He's probably going to try to step back and build meter safely. There we go. Do a, do a PDX snake strike. Oh, Mago not having any of that cartwheel. Reads the uh, neutral jump in the corner correctly. And Mago is going into third round with full super bar. Oh, wow. Okay. So, Justin gets a hard knockdown right there. Oh, no. Mago uses his uh, uppercut FADC. Wow. Mago still has that Ultra 2, which is the counter super. We'll see if uh, he uses it for intimidation. Oh, wow! Goes for the command grab. Paid off. Rufus was kind of on the verge of stun, but I think it's wound, wound down by now. But uh, Justin's still very much in it, even though he's got the life disadvantage right here. He can still use his EX Messiah to get out of trouble. Oh, wow! That could be it right here! Is that gonna kill? Yes, it will. No, he's still alive. What could what could Mago do? Mago gets hit by the cross up dive kick. Gets sent home by E. G. Justin Wong, who uh, will advance right, to fight Wong Jace the Ace. Mago with a very strong uh, fifth place finish here at April Duels Two. And now it's going to be uh, Mad Cat's Tokido versus Mad Cat's DMCN. Justin Wong back on the mic. What's up? Got to take a break for photos. No problem. I will hold it down for you, Justin. So, very interesting. It's not, not going to be a crossover. Right. It'll just be a block string. Good stuff there. Shoutouts to Latif yeah, thank for you, figuring Latif. out those unblockable tricks. Yes. 
The thing is, you just have to know which setups are unblockable and which setups are not. That is the main key after that. I just know that that's Mago's main uh, right. unblockable on Rufus because yeah. he hit me over a hundred times at my house when he stayed with me before Evo. <laughs> that's why you have people come through to your house, Justin. I see you. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> that is a trick. I think it's a trick. You think it's a trick? Well, it's not a trick. It's a give and take. You stay at my house, you eat my food, I'm going to download your stuff. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever stay. <laughs> All right, so we got winner's finals here. Zien versus Takedo. Zien, the, the, the winner of Canada Cup. Defending the right. So right now, he wants to make sure he wins again. That's right. And it was, uh, you know, Tokido's teammate, Mago, who was undefeated in winners' finals and at Canada Cup last year. Yes. So we'll see if uh, Tokido can avenge his fallen brother. Yes, but this is, uh, I, don't, I don't know, actually don't know how this match goes, but I know that Infiltration has beaten Zien in multiple tournaments. I don't re remember if Tokido has beaten Zien or the other way around, actually. Yeah, I, I don't think I've seen this guy's fight. Yeah, but right now, Zien is going in. Sit back, play the waiting game. No reason to go in too hard right now. Just grind down the clock. Force Tokido to make a mistake. Of course, the seconds count down a little bit slower in Street Fire 4 compared to Cross Tekken. We'll see what he... Oh, wow. Yeah, all right. Same side in the corner. Oh, no. Cross is up this time. Oh my god. It's the dizzy. Wow. What happened there? I thought Zian was in total control. He was in total control, but then he just let Tokido breathe a little too much. Yes. You know, like he tried to sit back and play the waiting game, but it's like you still have to kind of like advance forward and block and at least keep the mental pressure on, even if you're not really hitting a lot of buttons. Sure. Oh, with the super right away. Good use of meter. Oh I like my that. god, look wow, at that 60%, look at the damage. John. Yeah, so now sien has got the rest of the round to uh, build up those two bars to try to get even with Tokido. Oh, nice. And definitely, jump low. Yeah, you definitely don't want to start the third round with no meter with your when your opponent has mm. four, four bars. But now we're in the same situation as we were last round where uh, sien has got a, hu a sizable lead. Oh, wow, using okay. the EX upper. But now yeah, he's not he gonna was have like, no I'm, not, I'm not going to mess around with Tokido in the corner. Yes. Don't need to mess around like that. Okay. So Tokido's got a slight meter advantage, but... Oh, should have left the focus rock. Oh, nice throw. Teleport. Ooh, nice. Reads it properly. Oh, no. Oh, wow, I thought he was going to hit I, by I, that. Yeah, I thought he was going to punish the sweep with the dive kick. This is his uppercut. Oh, uh oh. Here we go. Oh, nice blocks. Oh, I don't know if that's punishable on block. Oh, nice. Stab him. Now, Sian's got a pretty good life lead here. Yes. But, you One know, bar away from Super. Oh, no, he suspends it, though. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Counter hit. Oh, no. Didn't read it correctly that time. Oh, wow. Bash is yeah, back dash is out. I'm surprised Sakura did not opt select that. Normally he he would. Not looking good here. Oh no. Zian needs to get any possible damage possible. Oh my god, that was it too. Oh, just, just do it. Do it. Who just cares? Do it. Just do it. Just do just it. Just do it. I like it. I like Ooh, it. Look, even he's 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 amazed that he did it. <laughs> oh my god. Smart move. Smart move. I like that. It's the battle of the century. Fight. He did that to you when you guys were playing. Yeah. Oof. Big damage right there. Oh. Gets the block. All right. All right. Jen's got oh, the corner. Oh, no. Not where you want to be against Akuma. <coughs> Set up right here. Oh, it doesn't go for it. Oh, wow. Sian thought that was going to cross up, start walking the other oh way. My God. Oh, God. Convincing man. round from Takedo. What will happen now? 
Wow, a lot of damage right there on that jumping air to air. Yes. Uh, so Kido burning some of that meter. All right, Sien burns a little bit of meter of his own. That EX up kicks. Wow, just run up and throw him. Oh, it doesn't blank. Oh, I, oh my god, Zien didn't think he was going to get hit by that cross up. That's why he dashed. He thought he was going to teleport right there. Oh, misses the, the counter hit the uh, set up. Gets hit by a carrot throw right there. Oh, Ooh, that's it. Uh -oh. Wow. Match, Match point. point. And one round away from making it into grand finals here at April Duels 2. Oh, no, Tokido, this could cost him. Not a good way to start out the match. Oh, here's the super big damage. Look at that. Oh, my God. And the hard knockdown. Oh, my gosh. Run up and throw. Tokido's definitely almost stunned right now. On the verge of death. Going to fight back right here. Successfully blocks the cross up. Pretty good read there by good read there by Sien yes. to block that cross up. That could have definitely turned things around for Tokido. I will be back. All right. Good luck, Justin. All right, so Sien is going to be in the grand finals with a very impressive um, Jace the Ace actually is no stranger to the Rufus matchup. He actually recorded a uh, video for Cross Counter, which you check out on the Cross Counter YouTube channel, um, where he shows all kinds of different setups and tricks anti Rufus technology. So we'll see if he can put any of that to play here. The loser, I mean, the winner of this will go on to fight Tokido in Losers Finals. And the loser of this goes home. All right, here we go. Justin really taking it to Jace and Ace here. Jace says, no, you don't. I will uppercut. There it is, again. Oh, wow. Justin burns his meter, throws out EX Messiah. Jason A says, you're going to regret burning that meter in just a second. Oh my gosh. Jason Ace hits the ultra. One mix up away from ending the first round. Oh no, empty jump nothing into the overhead. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know about that. Got a little lucky right there. But Jason the Ace. See if he's gonna uppercut some more. Ooh! Oh man, Jason Ace using his bar to uh, stop any sort of momentum that Justin was trying to get. Oh man, couldn't convert that into anything. Oh. Justin's got his back to the wall. Oh my gosh. Jace the Ace uppercuts FABCs into the Ultra to take the first game pretty convincingly. And uh, of course, these guys are playing two out of three. Jace the Ace smelling blood here. Goes for the flame kick cross with good blocks there by Justin. Oh, wow. Jace Ace makes Justin whip a throw. Jace looking very strong here. Flame kicks out of trouble. Okay, finally, an uppercut gets blocked. Oh, wow, doesn't get the safe jump properly. All right, now here, Justin is in control. Wow, he's got his ultra. All it takes is one, maybe one or two mix-ups. Oh, that's it. Justin Wong turning the tides of the match. Gonna start the next round with a significant meter advantage. Oh man, now.
now. Justin smells blood. He knows that Viper is weak without meter on wake up. Oh, wow. Not a true block string right there. Good read. Good decision there by Jace the Ace. Oh, wow. What a tricky cross up. Oh, wow. Gets the dizzy on Rufus. Rufus, of course, having a little bit extra life, but having less stun than most of the characters to balance him out. Oh, man. How is he still alive? Justin throws out the ultra. Wow. Who cares? Just do it. Jace the Ace buys his way out of trouble with that wake up EX flame kick. Oh my gosh! Justin Wong activates the Wong factor with that ultra. And he takes up, takes the second game. Match point for both players. One of these guys is going back to SoCal. Oh, nice trade there. Jace the Ace going in hard, doesn't cross up that time. Gets out of the corner. Oh, uppercuts again. Justin's really got to expect those uppercuts by now. Uh-oh. Jump across. Oh, not a cross up. Puts him in the corner, keeps him there. Oh, no. Jace the Ace puts himself in the corner, throws his way out of it. Oh, my gosh. Baits the throw. Justin counters with the EX snakes, with a regular snake strike. Backs off for a second. Oh, not looking good here. Oh, no. One mistake and it's over. Jace the Ace was so close. He's going to have to shake that one off. Justin Wong now. Match point. One round away from sending Jace the Ace home. We'll see if Jace the Ace continues to throw out these unsafe uppercuts. Good blocks there by Justin. Throws out the EX Messiah kick. Oh, yeah, waits for a second and then throws him into the corner. Wow, there we go. Justin now catching on to the uppercuts. Oh, and that's it. Looks like Justin Wong takes it. Oh, my gosh. Jace the Ace had it, but still a very strong showing from Jace the Ace. So Jace the Ace getting a very solid fourth. Uh, send Mago to losers. And here we go. It's going to be Rufus versus Akuma. And it looks like Tokido is going to be using Ultra 2, which provides him a lot of uh, option select that he can use. Uh, probably to counter Rufus's EX Messiah kick, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sure we'll see it at one point this match. All right, and Tokido gets that first knockdown. The Vortex has started. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Rufus, of course, having low stun to balance out his... Uh, Hit points. Oh my gosh. Is that going to work? Oh, I thought it was going to work. Good idea by Justin. Justin not going down without a fight. Going to take this round. Uh, build a little meter. It's okay. It's all right. Kido's got the murder face on. Man, Justin using that EX bar to get out of trouble. Out of the corner now, but Tokido's not phased. Still taking it to him. Nice, good damage right here. Smart choice to use the Ultra because uh, Rufus will probably get another one before the round ends. Tokido playing a little bit patient at this point. Not trying to go in too far, too hard. Knows that Justin is still very dangerous. Oh, wow. Gets the cross up. Oh, my gosh. Teleports backwards by mistake. I'm pretty sure. Okay. That's another reason why he's using Ultra 2. Is because after the uh, Fireball FADC, he can dash, teleport, and cancel into Ultra 2, which would have ended the round. But uh, that was a very critical error there. And uh, Justin, if he gets, if he gets uh, one more hit, oh no! 
That's unfortunate. If he would have gotten, oh wow, if he would have gotten uh, one more, if he would have been able to focus one more fireball. Oh, this, oh man, yeah. If he would have focused one more fireball, then he would have been extremely dangerous with three bars and the ultra. Justin trying to regroup, shake this one off. Tokido very focused. Still taking it to Justin. Gets that first knockdown. Good tech there by Justin. Reading the grab correctly. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Justin tosses him into the corner. We'll see if Tokido tries to teleport out, but at this point, I don't think it's likely. Justin's looking for the teleport. Oh, wow. Swiftly ends the first round very convincingly. Justin's not going down without a fight. Tokido gets that first hard knockdown. Here comes the Vortex setup. Oh, Justin blocks correctly. Use the EX, ball, EX meter to, burn, uh, to get out of trouble. Oh, wow. Tokido gets the counter hit. Continues his offense. Justin about to be very dangerous with three meters and an ultra. He's got a lot of work to do, though. And Tokido very dangerous himself with full bar. That means that he can do Raging Demon or he can uppercut FADC twice. Throw out some EX oh, no. Justin, why would you do that? Oh my god, catches a lucky break. Tokido was not able to punish correctly. Justin Lux out and takes game two. Wow. If you guys remember in uh, Justin's match versus Jace the Ace, he just threw out the ultra expecting that Jace the Ace was gonna hit a button, which he did. Didn't work out this time against Tokido, but Tokido couldn't prop uh, punish properly. So Justin lucked out. Takes game two, and now uh, Tokido's got to shake that one off, try to regroup mentally. Both players are tied up at one round apiece, looking very even right now. One of these guys is going home, and one of these guys is going to be fighting Sien in the grand finals of April Duel 2 here in Vancouver. Tokido trying to slowly force Justin into the corner. Learns the X bar, pretty smart move right there. Wow, standing jab, just anti-air. But uh, now, oh, okay. Ooh, nice read there by Justin. Does the dive kick, converts into the ultra. Goodbye. Tokido though, still, whoa, wow. Justin looking pretty strong here. One round away from getting into the grand finals to fight against Sien, who actually put him in losers, in losers bracket. We'll see if, uh, oh yeah, see, so uh, Justin backdashing right there to protect against uh, Tokido's teleport option. Tokido about to be very dangerous now. Got the ultra and the and full super bar. Off to teleport into the corner. Not looking good here. Tokido's got a lot of work to do. Oh my gosh. So dangerous. Oh no, this could be it right here. Tokido burns the bar. Okay. Puts Justin in the corner. Oh, what a tricky cross up. Oh, can't convert. This is it. Oh my gosh, Tokido had an opening. Could have done some major damage in the corner, but dropped his combo. Oh, what a heartbreaker for Tokido. Oh man. EG Justin Wong takes it. And Mad Cat's Tokido. Very solid third place finish. I have never seen Justin beat Tokido. Like Tokido just like always bodies him. Wow, okay, so Justin's first time beating Tokido, at least in quite some time, I think. And now, and now the crowd is going nuts. Combo had Justin in the corner.
So here we are, folks. It has all come down to this. E.G. Justin Wong in loser's bracket going up against Mad Cat's DM Sien. All the way from Singapore. Sien doing very well for himself in recent memory. Of course, winning Canada Cup 2012 against Mago in Calgary in November or October. I don't remember. And then, of course, coming off a big win at Red Fight District in Amsterdam. Beating everybody, all of Europe in uh, Street Fighter 4, and then getting a top eight finish at uh, in Atlanta this past weekend at final round. But uh, you know he is staying at Justin's house, so we'll see if Justin has downloaded any of his tricks. But I doubt it because I think both of these guys have been spending all their time playing Marvel recently. Sian, of course, was the one who put Justin in losers yesterday. We'll see if uh, Justin has studied up on any Gen technology. Maybe watched his match on the replay yesterday. But uh, Stan looking pretty strong here. Lands the Ultra. Pretty good damage right here. Just about ties it up. He's going to need one more opening. Oh, no! I'm not... I think he's... Pretty sure he just messed up a save jump right there. Justin throws out the EX Messiah kick. FADC's into Ultra for the first round win. But uh, Sien is going to be very dangerous going into the second round with full super meter. If he can hit uh, low, strong into hands, he will be able to convert that into super. So Justin's going to try to back Sien into the corner. Without taking too much risk. There we go. There's a low strong hands into super I was talking about. Finishes it with the uh, waterfall kick. Now we got a cross up. Sien keeps the momentum on. Oh no. Beats out the anti air. Oh, what was that? Counter hit. <laughs> wow. That one hurt. So uh, Sien looking pretty solid here in this uh, second round. Justin opts to throw out the EX sidekick to buy his way out of trouble. Uh-oh, this is going to hurt. Sien should still be alive here. Three meters and an ultra. Oh, my gosh. Just throws out another EX sidekick for the first game win. Justin is coming out of loser's bracket, which means that he does have to win five more games because we are playing three out of five here in Grand Finals. Then taking it to Justin. Oh, wow, nice focus right there. Going to have to sit back and regain some of that life. We'll see if uh, Sien opts to do a lot of the uh, EX up kicks when uh, Justin puts the pressure on. That was definitely one of the ways that Sien was able to defeat him last time yesterday in uh, winner's bracket. Ooh. Oh no, Stan tried to run out of run and get his way out of trouble, but couldn't quite make it. Uh-oh, Justin is on the hunt, smells blood. Oh my gosh. Just being whittled away. Oh man, cross up dive kick. Oh no, Stan puts himself back in the corner. Justin can just throw out the EX Messiah kick. Still got it locked and loaded. Sien saw it coming right there. Neutral jump in anticipation, but Justin didn't throw it out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is that going to work? Oh, well, he got out of trouble. Hey, that's good enough. That's good enough, guys. Oh, no. Drops his combo. Justin counters with the EX with a sidekick. And oh, my gosh. Takes that round. Very smart move by Sien to use the ultra to get out of the corner when Justin did the EX with a sidekick follow up. Then was able to convert after the hands, but then dropped his combo. Justin capitalized. And is one round away from taking the first set? Oh my gosh. Sien's really going to have to come up with a new game plan here. Oh, never mind. This is only game two. Sorry, guys. Justin's got him back in the corner right where he wants him. Neutral jump. Oh, there we go. Sien is throwing out the uppercuts to make him respect him. Respect me, Justin. I will uppercut. Oh, man. That might have been a good time to uppercut. There we go. There's the uppercut. 
This is how Sien, a big part of how Sien was able to put Justin in losers. Justin's like, he won't uppercut. Sien's like, nah, I'll do it. i do it. There we go. Big damage right here. But uh, Justin, he's got three bars. He can do the EX Messiah kick. Oh, no. Stops the momentum. The situation is reset. Justin still at a very advantageous situ uh, si situation here with three bars and the ultra. Oh no, Justin burns his bars, dashes forward to keep the momentum on. Oh no, Sen reverses it, puts him, oh no, is he gonna, oh my gosh, Sen, Sen doesn't drop it this time. And he takes round two of game two. Both players just about even on meter here going into the, into the third round. Sen scores the first hard knockdown. Oh, gets another hard knockdown, switches stances. Drops his combo. He's gonna back off a little bit. Ooh, nice counter hit right there. Oh man. Justin trying to apply the pressure with those dive kicks. Trying to run all over Sien right here. Uh-oh. This is gonna hurt. What's he gonna follow up with? Yes. Sien says YOLO. Oh my gosh, big damage. I think Rufus is on the verge of stun. One mix up, but this could be it. Oh no, Sien couldn't catch him. Oh no, couldn't punish the standing roundhouse. That can't be safe on block. Sien jumps his way out of trouble. Justin very dangerous, about to get that third meter. That's why he backed off to do, those, the, to do that jab snake strike. Oh no, throws out his meter. Oh no, what is he doing? Oh no, Justin trying to catch him with the standing roundhouse. Very dangerous situation for both players. Sien is running down the clock, put himself a little too close. Says YOLO! I will uppercut Justin. He's gonna try to run it out, run out the clock here. Put himself into the corner though, very dangerous situation. Just block, just block. There we go, okay. Wow. Pretty close call there for Sien, I gotta say. I mean, he let Justin in, but luckily Justin didn't have enough time to finish the, finish the job. Ooh. Yeah, looking pretty strong here. All tied up now, one game apiece. Ooh, nice anti-air right there. All right, Justin throws out the EX side kick. He's unable to capitalize after the knockdown. All right, here we go, hard knockdown, dash, dash. Ooh, goes for the throw instead of the dive kick, okay. Oh no, throws out the down pierce, but CN can't quite capitalize on that. Nice jump back roundhouse, air to air. Oh, does it again. Justin's starting to catch on now, but still getting hit by these YOLO uppercuts. Oh, nice. Oh my gosh, the damage. One mix up is all it's gonna take here. Oh, okay, jumps the other way to avoid the EX Messiah kick. Let's hope that uh, Sien stays on the ground here and doesn't get caught by Rufus's jump roundhouse, which then would convert into Ultra, which would probably end the round. So Sien's gonna play it safe, try to grind out the clock a little bit, see if he can hit low strong hands from pretty far away from a safe distance. Using those uh, standing medium punches right there to try to dissuade Rufus from doing the dive kick. There we go, chip him away, grind it away, standing jab, anti-airs, the dive kick. Sien takes first round of game three. Oh wait, okay, never mind. the score is now, the score is two to one, sorry, I can't count. It's not two to one. Never mind. All right. All right, Justin, looking pretty strong here. Good damage. We'll see if Sien if Sien wants to uppercut. No, no, he won't uppercut in this situation. There we go. Nice counter hit set up by there by Justin. Caught Sien hitting a button.
Sam gets the first hard knockdown right there. Now very dangerous. Oh my gosh. One more opening converted into super and that's gonna be almost the end of Justin's Rufus for this game. Sien. See, okay, there we go. In this situation, I think it's still valuable to try to keep the pressure on very safely, but if you give a player like Justin Wong time to mentally recover, it can come back to haunt you. So I wanna see Sien try to apply a little bit more pressure safely and not get walked into the corner, which is what Justin is trying to do. Yeah, see? That's okay though. I mean, you can get hit by the jump back roundhouse. Just don't get hit by the jump forward roundhouse. There we go. Caught him slipping. All right, now Justin's got a mountain to climb here. Yep, Sien safe jumps. What? What? Not quite sure what Sien tried to do right there. Justin's got a lot of, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Justin's still got a lot of work to do here. Sien's just got, oh, wow, run up sweep to end the third game. So uh, Sien is one game away from becoming the April Duel Street Fighter 4 Championship, champion here in Vancouver at April Duels 2. We want to thank you guys so much for spending some of your Sunday afternoon, evening with us. We appreciate it. Oh my gosh. Sien uses the Ultra to get out of trouble. I like that. I like that. He'll get another one. There we go. Now, now it starts. Oh, okay. Good read there by Justin to take that throw. Sien throws out the, uh, the uppercut. Oh, wow, nice walk back to bait the throw into a throw of his own. Oh, he went for it again. Uh, Justin says, I'm not falling for that one. He's gonna end it with an ultra. Goodbye. All right, Justin now one round away from tying it up. But of course, Sien is in lo uh, a winner's bracket, so Justin is gonna have to uh, beat him another set, even if he wins the next two games. Good tech right there. Uh-oh, Justin reads the uh, jump. Sien now not in a good position right here. Uh-oh, hits the dizzy. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh no, Justin, not quite sure what he's going for right there. But EX Snake Strike was definitely not it. Ah, but it doesn't matter anyways. Justin ends that game with the EX Messiah Kick. Sien having a little chuckle. Gonna try to shake that one off mentally. But uh, Sien's just gotta win this one more game. If Sien loses this game, it's, it's definitely very difficult to overcome mentally in that scenario. Justin's looking pretty strong here, not letting up. Just going in pretty hard on Sien. All right, Sien's getting a little damage right here. Cross up, oh, not a cross up. Justin was fooled by that one too. We'll see what he goes for this time. Uh, okay. Justin trying to back up, trying to regain his composure. And Sian gonna back up, build a little meter of his own. He's kind of giving up a lot of screen positioning right here though. That's exactly what Justin wants. Justin Rufus, of course, wants to carry the, uh, the opponent in the corner because that's where he is most effective. If Sien uh, can build up that fourth bar though, one opening, he will be able to uh, convert an opening into super and then follow it up with ultra, which could be the end of the round. He's on the verge of building that fourth bar right here. All he needs is a few more blocked hits. And there we go, you see Justin using the jab snake strike to build a little meter. Now Rufus is very dangerous with three meters and the ultra. There we go, there we go. And that's the opening I was talking about. Sien now. Converts it into an ultra, and he is now one round away from taking this whole tournament. But uh, Justin, starting this round with a uh, full super meter. Sien's got a lot of bar to build, but uh, Sien can also take a little bit more risk here. 
Good blocks there by Cien. Oh, back dashes to avoid the uh, EX Messiah kick follow up. And uh, you'll see he neutral jump right there just to just in case Justin decided to throw out the EX Messiah kick. Oh, goes for the sweep block. Nice back dash right there to get out of the pressure. Oh, no! Didn't really matter right there, though. Oh, can't convert into much. Oh, see, that's why Sien is uh, anticipating the EX Messiah kick. This could be it right here. One more setup, and Sien will take this entire tournament. Justin's got EX Oh, no! Does the wall bounce into the dive kick? Didn't see that setup all tournament long. Sen was saving that for the end. Very impressive. Saving that super smart stuff for the very end. Very nicely done there by Sen. Getting a big win for Mad Cats and DM, as well as all of Singapore.